it's your turn. If you don't mind, all right. I need yeah, to no, let no. my uh, let my dog in because he's scratching desperately. All right, cool, cool, cool. Do you want me to wait then, or you yeah, can... just just uh, read it. Okay, got you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and all those in between. Am I the butthole for asking my boyfriend to brush his teeth? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. All right, let's do this. All right. <clears throat> my boyfriend and I have been dating for six months. I am over at his house quite frequently, and I love him. There's just one thing that is bothering bothering me. He doesn't brush his teeth very often, and his breath doesn't smell the greatest of all time. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> all right he may brush his teeth once every two to three what how do you love this person this is not a person this, this is shrek dude this is no shrek no he brushes his teeth all with right. slime or something but yeah no but this is this is worse he may brush his teeth once every two to three weeks what that how that is disgusting all right, we're, we're moving on real quick. Okay. The thing is, he's very talk. Oh, that's even worse. Uh, he's very talkative, and he's in my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh my god, which I don't mind. Why do you not mind? Like, OP needs to mind. This is terrible. Okay. <clears throat> uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry. I just. Okay, he's very talkative in my face, which I don't mind because I love him being affectionate and talkative, but his breath throws me off. Okay. Especially when we have, you know, toes to heaven. Got it. <laughs> I want to tell him in a polite way to brush his teeth, but I don't want to hurt his feelings because he's the sweetest. I don't want to feel like a bad person. Like I said, it's been six mm. months, so how would I go about telling him this? As some comments have said, he could be depressed, or does he have some sort of mental illness? <laughs> <laughs> and he does have ADHD. That's not a reason. That is not a reason. <laughs> no, god dang it. All right, and he is also on the spectrum, so he is neurodivergent. I'm not quick to break up with him because other than his breath, there's nothing outwardly horrible about him in a horrible person, nor is he horrible to me. No one is perfect, and if you break up with someone after one small thing they do or don't do, do you really want to be in a relationship? No one is perfect, and I feel like this can be something that's fixed with a talk. I agree. Edit. We have had talk, had a talk, and he's going to start brushing his teeth more, and I'll support him. These comments really showed me how people do not take mental health issues as serious or they don't care, and you guys are just, leave him, it's disgusting. <laughs> When we talked, he said he does lack motivation and he will start brushing his teeth and thanks for telling him. You guys need some sensitivity training. I hope you don't have chill. Wow. Wow. Cool. Right. I, okay. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll not read that part. We'll just kind of blank that out. Um, so let's forget about the edit. All right. Because obviously they talked and things are getting better. So let's mm. not worry about that. Let's kind of work on the meat and potatoes of the main message here. Um, wow. That is gross. That is absolutely disgusting. Um, however, all right, and this is like I said, we're not supposed to remember everything said in the edit. Mm -hmm. there's, there's something definitely wrong. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you brush your teeth once every two to three weeks, it's not even like, you know, other people. You would smell yourself. Yeah. Right. And that is, I mean, then again, I know this is a weird little tangent. I know that there's some people. Uh, and it kind of br briefly touches on the whole like mental issue thing, right? Like hoarders, you know, the you know the people that like hoard everything and don't want to throw away even trash. You know what I mean? Yeah. They they have that mindset and they don't realize how bad it is. They don't realize there's poop everywhere and bugs and everything. They don't smell it. So maybe that is the case. You know, that whole mental thing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and it's so hard to do an initial reaction because we already read the edit. I shouldn't have done that, but um he, so okay overall the apparently the boyfriend's really good you know talkative affectionate you know they they have you know hanky spanky yes <laughs> so that's good right everything's good um and apparently he's really sweet okay cool it's still an issue all right if you ignore something for that long six months of 
tolerating that kind of smell and not even saying anything that's some it's that's some delusional love right there yeah to be honest yes i mean i would have just like help him uh book an appointment for a dentist and the dentist will say it you know is the dentist will say it right that i think you should brush oh, more wh- or oh, like, yeah. yeah or oh, i definitely. think you need to floss something like that. <laughs> They just they just hand them like an entire like surgeon kit and like here you go just do something <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man ah uh, but yes um I don't want to because this is something that you know I know a lot of people struggle with because mm. like depression and anxiety, any type of mental illness right because the last paragraph before the edit um Kama said he could be depressed so. That is something I will never talk down about. Because, yeah. You know, you and you remember how I told you my biggest pet peeve is when people don't understand something, but they say they understand. Yeah. You know, that's one of my biggest pet peeves, right? Mm. So like I have never been officially like depressed. I I've been, you know, I suffered when I had my my back surgery, right? You know, we talked about that in the yeah. DMs. Um and when I had to relearn how to walk and and all that jazz. Um I will admit I had some mental issues. I, I was depressed. I, I was re- I was suffering from anxiety. Um, you know, the whole spiral thing. So I can understand to a certain degree that when you start spiraling and it gets out of control and you, you do have that, you know, borderline depression, or even in this case, when they were depressed and they had some kind of mental, uh, not illness, but like a problem, right? Yeah. Sometimes you just let everything fall. You know, but, but the big thing though, what I love, and I don't, I hate addressing this because the edit is not supposed to happen. But <laughs> I love the fact that they talked about it. You know, see, yeah. that's a win. It's a big freaking win. I love that, right? So they 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 talked about it and they grew from it and they and you know they brought it up. And what's even better is apparently this guy does love this girl or this person, right? Yeah. Uh, because he acknowledged it. He's willing to change, you know. That's, dude, like fucking confetti, fireworks, pew, 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 happy, <laughs> right? That's yeah. good. So no, no, no. I, I definitely don't think that OP was a butthole. Okay, I think OP was very sensitive because they really liked the boyfriend, right? Mm. And they, they, they were so scared to cause any damage, especially since besides the the bad breath, right? Everything was glorious everything was good True. Um, so i don't think she was a butthole i think she was just scared and it's okay to be scared right yeah but but yeah no it definitely needed to be talked with oh man i cannot i mean in general in a long-term relationship other than this in the future there might be something else that she needs to bring up or maybe the guy needs to bring up too so like this is the first step i would say you know mm. Yeah, true. No, definitely. Like, I'm I'm really happy. I know I said the edit shouldn't happen, but I'm really happy that the edit was shown. It just showed that you know they did. They were mature enough to talk about it and yeah. grow from it. Um, yeah, because you know, it's like what you said. Some people just don't want to grow. You know, they 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 just they're stuck. And true. I get it though. I mm. I really get it. I I felt the same exact way before. Uh, like I said. Um, so sometimes you just need to pull, have someone to pull you, you know, out of that, that rut. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, and it's okay. great that really he wants to take the step as well. Because sometimes, you know, we can try to help people, but they don't want to be helped. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, no, definitely. Because mm. like, man, it's like one of the hardest things to do. Like if you want to try to help someone or talk to someone and they don't want to change. Right. It's so hard. You know, like, oh man, like a, a prime example is, is, uh, well, one of my best friends, he, he's been smoking like cigarettes forever cool. and you know, he's been having some, uh, he also used to do something called dip. I don't know if you have that. What's that? Uh, in, so it's like tobacco, but it's like ground up and they, they put it between their lip and their gums and they, it's, it's disgusting. Uh, well, personal opinion, it's disgusting. I don't know if people like doing that here, but it's basically they get a direct because there's fiberglass in the tobacco and it cuts up your gums. Oh, right? so yeah, right? 
but <laughs> it basically the to tobacco and all the additives and everything like gets into your bloodstream faster oh. um and so you feel that that rush that you know you know what i mean mm. uh, but it's still tobacco it's legal but it's gross and what happens is that they'll put the dip in and they have something called a dip cup i know i'm oversharing here i know it's gross but <laughs> okay uh but basically they spit into this thing and it's disgusting right and it's freaking gross and a bunch of us were like dude we're tired of this guy like because he's our like one of our close friends we're like we're tired of him freaking leaving his gross freaking used bottles of dip spit in our car oh you know? what he left yeah, it it's so yes it's so gross oh my god i'm gagging <laughs> just remembering um but he dude we tried to talk to him about it and he didn't want to change because he had that nicotine addiction you know what i mean like it was just set in his ways he's like no 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 i'm not i don't care oh gosh. and uh yeah um it was so hard you know what changed him though like for real what lung cancer um, no <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i went from like zero to 60 real quick like, i don't know i don't smoke so every time i see like the box of cigarette they always say that you know this can cause this and that so that's the only thing i know what lung cancer right no <laughs> no no um he ended up uh so you know it's like any addiction right so he, he kept putting more and more and more mm. until he looked like a freaking camel okay he had this huge bulge and they do something called a horseshoe i know this is weird but just imagine think of a the shape of a horseshoe right okay a and it's basically all around his gums oh gosh it's literally yeah it's all around his gums and like it it came to a point where he started doing the bottom and the top like no bs oh my god and he, he uh we were we were all messing around we we're being boys and uh, don't judge me this was when we were younger okay uh, <laughs> we 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 acquired quote unquote acquired a shopping cart and we're pushing each other up a hill and going down <laughs> <laughs> wow it's like <laughs> the movies man it's legit like the movie. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just you don't, you don't have money when you're younger and you just want to have fun. Yeah. Right? So, uh, so yeah, we uh, it was his turn. We pushed him up, and when we let him go, he crashed obviously, and we thought it was freaking hilarious. Oh. Uh, but he ended up swallowing everything. Oh God. Oh. Everything. Yes, he's ended up swallowing everything, and. <laughs> he was so sick i have never seen someone turn that white like oh that gosh pale. and he started just like gagging and like throwing up or trying to throw up but it wouldn't come out and like he got so uh, he got so sick and uh he stopped after that so i mean in a way i guess it's a good thing to i'm sorry but it's funny it is funny. I make fun of him all the time. For so does you know what? I'm a, I'm a freaking. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. So does his gum heal now? Like, does it oh, get better? So you no. Know, so funny you say that. So um, because it does those little micro cuts and everything, I guess it caused like not scar tissue, but oh. it is like, you know what I mean? It like it's not. It doesn't look normal. It looks a little darker. Ah. Yeah. that's too bad so yeah so yeah we we, we, we call them funny names every now and then so. <laughs> um but yeah all right so reeling this in um yeah no 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 i i stick with what i said uh this op is a great person and was in love and was being cute about it and i'm really happy they talked about it and and, and you know talked it out you know what i mean all right not the battle. 